Hello and welcome back to episode 277 of the Journey Through Games Playing almost every Super Nintendo game released in Europe and the US uh, Missing out the sports games mostly uh, As you can see today we are playing The Lost Vikings 2 um, We gave this a go, the first one And I, it was reasonable um, So... Well, let's see if this one is better or if it can uh, uphold. After their narrow escape from the evil Tomator, Eric the Swift, Olaf the Stout, and Baliog the Fierce live joyous. Then one day, we're a fishing trip. That's a big fishing boat. Are we there yet? I'm hungry. We should have thought about that before we left. Oh, you should have thought that, but before we left. Yeah, you've eaten three times today and the sun hasn't even come up. No wonder I'm hungry. Only three. So, I finally caught up with the mighty Vikings again. Well, I'll show them. Oh, okay. Uh, guys, <laughs> let me guess, you've got a bad feeling about this. Welcome back, pathetic losers. This time you will experience the full wrath of the mighty tomato. This time there will be no escape. Guard, take them to the time-space modulation uh, thing and transport them to the yes, S-tomato. But first, I must modulate the phase variance in the tachyon fields. Prisoners, you will follow me. Okay. At last, the mighty Vikings are in my clutches. Okay. He's playing Pong, look. Ha 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 ha. Oh no, not another system failure. Oh dear, it's not a reliable system. Um, what? I thought we were outdoors. <laughs> hey, we grabbed some cool stuff from that robot. I wonder what it does. Hey, we, no wonder, no time to find out now. We need to get out of here. <laughs> I don't know why they suddenly became American. Oh, look, a big shiny thing, and there's a sign on it. It says dirt. Uh, donuts? Olaf, no, uh, uh, Baliog, I think Olaf's in some kind of trance or mania. Initiating sequence 1166 to Transylvania, 1437 AD. Oh, okay. No, I've lost them again. Was he watching the news on that TV? I think he might have been. Okay, password. Here we go. The animations are good. Where are we? The sign said, do not touch. Not donuts. What's a donut? I think I smell something brewing over there. Does that gut of yours ever quit? This is definitely not our ship. It's time to find a way home. Press A to talk to people or read hints like this one. We're looking for the big shiny metal thing that brought us here. Well, I know a spell that could send you there, but all three of you would have to be here at once. Press L or R to switch characters. Okay. Oh. I've got a lightsaber. And a punch. He just puts it on his head. Hi, do you have donuts? What's a donut? Maybe you should get your friends over here to explain what it is you want. Can you take us to the big shiny metal thing that brought us here? Well, I know a spell that could send you there. The spell has limited range, so if it doesn't take you all the way there, I'll meet you at the nearest cauldron and we can try again. But I'll need a cyclops eyeball, vampire bat wing, or ram reapus mushroom to cast the spell again. Okay, sounds good. Let's go. Mm -hmm. So he can jump. That 
that's it. There's a Batwing. Baliog stole the guard's energy saber. Press B to attack with it. So I like the um, the kind of setup of. Uh, it's like an action adventure, but it's got a little bit of something extra in terms of the character switching and the slight puzzle solving, which I think is uh, just enough to make it interesting. And when I say no, not just enough to make it interesting, but it, it elevates it above being just, you know, a typical. Oh, actually. Yeah, what I could have done is this. Press B to jump Eric onto ledges or over obstacles. Have to do this every time. Teleporting to people ain't like dusting crops, boy. Without precise ingredients, look, we don't need a lecture, just cast a spell. That's the case. To use Bally Oaks Barnic Arm to nail monsters from long range. And glide like a majestic eagle by holding his shield over his head while falling. Ah, oh, that's different. I don't remember that. His titanium dwarfing shield allows Olaf to fit through small openings, push down to activate it. Ah. Oh. If you have the right colored key, you can unlock a keyhole by standing over it and pressing X. To jump higher, stand Eric on Olaf's shield, then press B at the peak of Eric's jump to use his turbo boots. Okay, turbo boots. That's pretty cool. So, you know, it could have been like just a standard 16 um, bit action adventure game, but by adding in the uh, puzzle solving, the three characters, the character switching, the puzzle solving elements, um, I think it really elevates the game. And I think the extra stuff, or at least, I mean it seems like we're doing tutorial stuff at the moment, but at the moment this stuff feels better than the beginning of um, Lost Vikings 1, although that game was okay. Yeah, it was definitely okay. To select an item for use, press select, then move the blinking box over the item. Press select again to exit. And then you 
use it like that. Oh dear. Right, this is the guy. So, let's get him up here. To trade an item, press select, then press B over the item to give the item to a nearby Viking. Use the control pad, press select. Wait, what? Let's do that again. To trade an item, press select, then press B over the item to give the item to a nearby Viking. Use the control pad, press select to exit. Okay. So let's say if I want to. Yeah, okay. So. Ah. Oh, I see. Hmm. I'm gonna have to get this guy to go. Gee, Eric, being here is a lot like being lost. Why are you making stew? How can you have such a big head and such a small brain? Press Y while running to give Eric the speed to destroy some walls. Okay. Oh. So is that what the helmet is? Stand on an elevator and push up or down to control it. Mm. Have Baliog punch targets by pressing Y and a direction. Oh dear. Use his turbo boots while Eric is jumping up to destroy some ceilings. Okay. Use food to restore lost health. Press X to use an item. Oh dear. The Baliog's bionic arm lets him grab objects the others can't reach. Press Y and a direction. Ah.
I don't know what it was they were eating. Oh, garlic probably actually, wasn't it? Spiny calm, let some grab objects the others can't reach. Press Y and the direction. Oh, it does go. You just gotta, you just gotta position it right. to be this guy ah oh. uh, okay so stuff. Okay, I need a vampire bat wing, a cyclops eyeball, oh. Oh no, I've... something bugger Can. Okay, yeah. So it's a, it's definitely I would say a decent game. The only thing I, so far my thoughts are that it's quite samey. Um, but this is only the sort of tutorial level or levels attached to you guys, maybe we should all stay here together, don't make me sick, what, meet what Ballyhug meant was, we're really homesick, I 
Eric's smasho gill helmet lets him breathe underwater. Press B in a direction to swim faster. Press A to operate stuff like buttons and switches. Yeah. Balliog can swing by grabbing a jewel with his bionic arm. Press Y to grab and reach the jewel. The powerful gas of Olaf also enables him to smash some floors. Olaf's gas allows him an aerial boost. Press Y while falling. Oh, okay. So this is a bit more of a challenge. do it can I now without him That's a bit of a frustration actually, like how can I bring him back to life? Can I? Is it possible? If I go back to the beginning of the level, does it? No. 
Not that I can see. Oh gosh. Hmm. Yeah, well, I think that's going to do it for episode 277. That's the, the Lost Vikings. Um, yeah, it's a pretty decent game. I would probably go so far to say that for me it's a little bit of a hidden gem. I think uh, the it's something a bit different and I reckon I could get quite into it. I was already getting um, quite into it. Uh, just now but I think it's a bit annoying that you once one of those characters died it seems like I can't do the this level with without him because here for example yeah uh, so give up okay so you do you do have to give up once you realize that you can't do it which is a bit of a shame oh god Try again, yeah. Oh, she brought him back. So yeah, that can be. Imagine it being a bit try and trial and error heavy. But yeah, that's it for Lost Vikings. Yeah, I would say a little bit of a hidden gem, and that's it. I'll see you guys next time.